Right, let's uh, do a little commentary about what's going on with the Killing Eve fanbase as of right now. First of all, I'm seeing a lot of things about how there's Killing Eve memorials. I think there's a Killing Eve memorial in London on Tower Bridge. There's one in Liverpool outside the Killing Eve pop-up shop thing. There's also some Killing Eve memorials in St. Petersburg. So there's these Killing Eve memorials, but what I don't understand, people can't tell the difference between the goddamn actress and the character that she plays in Killing Eve. Like Villanelle and Jodie Comer are two different people. Two different people and people can't see that. And if if you can't see that, then really? Really? It just blows my mind, because all I sit there and think right now is like, there's no way, right, the actress isn't fully aware. She must be fully aware of this. Obviously, she doesn't live under a rock, obviously. She's aware. And then bearing in mind there's that other play, which I don't know how to pronounce the name of, but a play that she's doing at the moment, where people are harassing her for the play, after the play, and she doesn't necessarily... She was told... I'm pretty sure I don't know if this is true. She was told and recommended not to go out to great fans but she said that she was going to <laughs> she I mean you do you i suppose but these are the same fans that will probably harass jody cobra which just makes me think wow i wouldn't even like i wouldn't call them fans if they're harassing an actress who was on killing eve and it's just funny because there's also the point of how in these Killing Eve memorial things they are, people would address, they'll address like Villanelle, right? But then next to it, they'll have a picture of Jodie Comer, which will make no sense because it will be press photos and, st and stuff, like press photos, different photo shoots. That has nothing to do with Killing Eve. So it's a thing of they're addressing the the saying about Villanelle, but the pictures are of Jodie Comer, and it's like what? I know that she played Villanelle. But it could have been pictures from the show, but it wasn't pictures from the show. It's pictures from like press photos and things like that. It's a joke. Honestly, if if I'm being completely honest, I didn't really like the ending. I mean, I did, but there should have been more to Villanelle's death, where we can see Eve afterwards dealing with that, but there wasn't. But also because. During that scene, there was there was literally only like a minute left of the episode, so they wouldn't have been able to obviously fit that in. And originally, they had plans for a season five. So at the same time, I can't really blame the writers. The one thing that I don't agree with, though, is that as much as I don't like the ending of the show, I mean, I like it, but like I said, I don't fully agree with it. People out there that harass uh, the lead writer of season four, so Laura Neal, and the, I think she's the executive producer, uh, Sally Woodward Gentle, I think that's what her name is, executive producer anyways, harassing her, harassing uh, the lead writer as well, and harassing the other writers of season four, I don't agree with that. Don't get me wrong, there's some parts of Killing Eve's storyline in season four that I question, but harassing? the Killing Eve, anyone who's part of the Killing Eve team, the cast, the crew, the writers, I don't agree with at all. And the thing is, I think personally, if you're harassing the cast, the crew, the writers, then really? Because the thing is, as much as I, again, I thought there's some things that I wish were different with the finale, I wouldn't be like that. Because at the end of the day, it's still the same people that brought us Killing Eve from, what, 2018? to now still the same people and the way i see it and i'm pretty sure i don't know if i've said this before killing eve right is a show right so things like television film books art music anything of that sort any sort of media like that technically it's art right and with art you can like let's say with music you can interpret lyrics in your own way it's like that with killing eve you can interpret the ending however you want i mean they left it open in the sense that for all we know, they really could have. I mean, I know that the lead writer, I know that Laura Neal has said that Villanelle was killed off. But if you want to believe that Villanelle faked her death, then you can believe that. You know, you can ignore what the lead writer has said and believe that. But that doesn't mean that you harass the team who worked on Killing Eve for this many years. That doesn't mean that. It's just, honestly, I don't understand people. There's a difference between being upset about a finale and harassing the people that made this finale possible. 
it's also the fact that there are people that decide, you know what, let's just send death threats to the lead writer. Like, there are some people out there that have sent death threats to the lead writer. I, I, I don't get it. What must go through your head for that? Like, that is an issue with the lead writer, that's an issue with yourself if you're sitting there sending death threats to a lead writer of a show just because you don't agree with it because it's not right don't get me wrong there's been a lot of shows and a lot of films that don't end well right but that doesn't mean that you harass the people that made that because at the end of the day the people who call themselves fans of killing eve right that do this they should be lucky that the show even exists i don't know what how it is for sandra o oh and jodie coma i don't actually know obviously i can't read their minds <laughs> but i can't imagine what it must be like because yeah there's a lot of backlash and i know a lot of people don't agree with the ending but it just makes you think doesn't it like what must it be like i know that they're being silent because one they're both actresses they're professionals and they can't actually sit there and speak on it because it won't look good on them if they were to speak out about the killing Eve finale right theoretically if that happened when it comes to sandra o and journey coma as much as sandra o has been in the acting thing for years like a long time regardless for sandra o and jody coma if they were to speak out on this finale right it will be a struggle for them to be cast in anything else they won't be able to because there's producers and writers and stuff who will look at these two and they'll be like if they've sat there and they've said this about killing eve what could happen after we've cast them into this film or this show or this and that for them to just eventually what the producers and the writers might think well once they've done with this show or this film or whatever they might do the same to us it affects their careers at the end of the day acting is their career right and if they were to speak on it if they were to speak on the finale of killing eve right let's just say that it probably ruin their careers to say the least regardless of if they actually do feel that way or not it, it would happen it would completely tarnish their careers altogether see i understand that fans aren't happy with the finale i fully understand that like i said but seriously the people that are going too far with the killing eve memorials that are deciding let's have a thing to do with villanelle but then next to it have a picture of jodie coma uh because you know people are treating it like People are treating it like Jodie Comer's died, I'm just saying. As much as that sounds really blunt, that's how people are treating it. And the people that are deciding, let's harass her while she's doing these plays. No, I don't agree with that at all. Right, that's just uh, my thoughts on this. I'll see you all in the next video then. It needs to stop.